title, The Grip of Darkness. The night draped over me like a heavy blanket, its darkness suffocating. I lay in bed, my eyes fixed on the ceiling, the soft glow of the nightlight barely piercing the shadows that danced along the walls. But despite the comforting presence of my stuffed animals and the familiar creaks of the old house settling, a sense of unease gnawed at the edges of my mind. As I drifted on the edge of sleep, a faint rustling sound broke the silence, like the whisper of fabric against skin. My heart quickened and I froze, straining to listen. There it was again, the sound of movement, coming from somewhere beneath the bed. Terror gripped me, rooting me to the spot as I fought against the impulse to flee. With trembling hands, I reached for the flashlight on my nightstand, stealing myself for what I might find. But before I could act, a cold, clammy hand closed around my ankle, pulling me down into the darkness below. I screamed, my voice echoing through the silent house as I struggled against the grip that held me captive. With every ounce of strength I could muster, I kicked and thrashed, desperate to break free from the creature's grasp. But its hold was relentless its fingers like iron bands around my ankle as it dragged me deeper into the shadows. And then, just when I thought all hope was lost, I felt a surge of adrenaline coursing through my veins. With a final desperate lunge, I wrenched myself free, scrambling to my feet and bolting for the safety of my parents' room. I burst through the door, gasping for breath as I stumbled into the dimly lit room. My parents stirred in their sleep, their faces twisted with concern as they awoke to the sound of my frantic cries. What's wrong? My mother asked, her voice thick with sleep. There's something under my bed, I sobbed, my words tumbling out in a torrent of fear and panic. My father sprang into action, his protective instincts kicking into overdrive as he followed me back to my room. With a determined expression, he dropped to his knees and peered under the bed his flashlight illuminating the darkness below. But to my horror, there was nothing there. No creature, no twisted figure lurking in the shadows. Only the empty expanse of dust and darkness that stretched out before us. My parents exchanged a concerned glance, their brows furrowed with worry as they tried to comfort me. But deep down, I knew that what I had experienced was real that the darkness beneath my bed held secrets far darker than they could ever imagine. As I lay there, trembling and shaken, I couldn't shake the feeling that something was still watching me, that the creature was biding its time, waiting for the perfect moment to strike once more. And as the first light of dawn filtered through the curtains, I knew that the nightmare was far from over, that the darkness would always be there lurking just out of sight, waiting for the opportunity to claim me as its own.